Hey everyone, Carl here with Gardening Solutions. In this video, we're gonna build a very inexpensive aeroponic cloner. So we're gonna use a five gallon bucket, some of these collars, a pump, a little sprinkler head, and it only takes a few minutes to build. I've had very good success with these. And although I do like my more expensive commercial one, for the money, I'd rather build probably four or five of these for the same price. That way you can stagger the, uh, the growth. And um, if you have any problems, then uh, it's isolated to one bucket. So this works out really well. So let's get started. Okay, here's the components we need to build the aeroponic cloner. You're gonna need a five gallon bucket. I went with a, a black bucket. Um, this is gonna prevent sunlight from getting through and reduce algae growth. Now in the end, I'm gonna set this inside of a white bucket since this is gonna be outside and that'll help keep the heat down. Get the best of both worlds there. Uh, on this particular lid, um, you just wanna make sure that whatever you get is fairly flat. That way you can make the holes around it. We've got the collars. So these are gonna seal around the plant, the cuttings that we put in here. These are two inch collars. I'll put a link to these. And here's my sacrificial lid from an, another bucket. Um, so for the two inch collars, we want a one and three quarter inch drill bit. So I've got a, a bit here to make that hole. And with a one and three quarter inch hole, these collars go in nice and snug. So they're nice and tight, got a good seal, but not to the point where you can't get them in and out. So we've got our bucket, we have our collars. Next, we're gonna need a pump. I've got two different options here. I'll put links to both of these. Either one will work. This one, it's less expensive. Um, I had bought them in a two pack. I think it's like $22, $23 for two of them. So I'm actually building a few of these buckets. This pump here, um, a little bigger, a little more expensive still. I think it's under $20. The main difference is the pipe that we use within the bucket. Um, the small pump is going to use a CPVC, which is a smaller, even, they're both half inch, but CPVC is a smaller pipe. And this one will use PVC. And when I say they'll use these, that means that you can assemble it with uh, really no difficulty. Um, so you'll see that when we get to that part. So since I'm using the smaller pump, I have a small piece of CPVC pipe. This one's been assembled. I've already used this on a previous build, um, roughly two inches there. And then I've got an adapter on the top. This is a half inch adapter. And what we're adapting to is a sprinkler riser. So let me take this part. I already have these assembled. This is about a one and a half inch, maybe two inch sprinkler riser. When you start out, just make the pipe longer than you need. And then as you test, you can cut it down. Uh, it's pretty surprising how much uh, this puts out. So the pipe is actually, the sprinkler is actually going to be way down in the bucket because it's going to be so powerful. Then you're going to need a sprinkler head. Just get something inexpensive, 360 degree head so it's spraying all around inside the bucket there. So this whole assembly just goes together like that. Very, very simple. And then of course you need a drill. So I've got everything ready. Let me get that bucket uh, on the ground and we'll start making holes. Okay, the lid on this bucket has these 16 little tabs going around it. I'm gonna do eight holes. So I'm gonna do a hole every other tab, kind of towards the outside. And again, you wanna make sure your bucket has a fairly flat lid so you can get enough holes in there. So I'm gonna do eight holes. One of those holes is gonna be for the power cord. So it'll be set up for seven plants. You could do a hole in the side of the bucket for the power cord. I prefer not to make a hole in the bucket. Lids are a lot cheaper than buckets. So let me get that going. Okay, there we go. We've got eight holes. I'm gonna clean these up a little bit, get this plastic off of here. I'm not even gonna clean these holes up.
they came out pretty good. So I'm going to throw away these little plastic shavings and then we will finish this project. It's really almost done. It's that easy. So let me get that cleaned up and we'll come back and finish. Okay, this pump came with a, a couple of adapters, but what you want, now this is a small pump. We're using CPVC. So um, one of the adapters is just a half inch adapter. Um, the other one is actually an aerator adapter. You don't want that. So you see this, um, this just about fits perfectly inside this CPVC. Now, it's not a perfect fit. With a little convincing, it's down there. I got it past at least one of the barbs. It's not going anywhere. So there's my scientific method for getting that going. Push that into the pump. Get your sprinkler head on there. You're good to go. So let's get the cord unwrapped. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set it into the bucket and show just how this looks when it's going. So see there's not much to it. This does have a flow adjustment as well. Not so important on this small pump, but if you're going to use this, uh, this larger one with the half inch PVC, um, even this one, I might have to, I might have to put it down a little lower. These things are pretty strong and they're not lifting very high. So these are made to push water up a couple feet. So let's, um, I've got water in the bucket, so let me set that in there and we'll take a look and see how that works. Okay, I've got a power cord here. I've got the little pump assembly. I'm just going to stick that, try to center that sprinkler head. Dry my hand off a little bit so I don't get shocked. And look at that. That's perfect. Now, it wouldn't hurt to have a finer mist going in there. But um, I've I've done a couple of these buckets, and um, you know I've got the uh, the commercial aeroponic cloner. You know what? These work just as good. You could get a a misting head if it makes you feel better. But my experience, this is this works really well. So what we do now? I ran the cord through one of the holes there. If you're a little OCD like me, you can color code. Yeah, use green for the cord, whatever you want. So, that's sealed, okay? So we're good there. I'm going to put a couple more. Let's stick with the OCD theme and be colorful here. Get some purple. Now, one of the hardest things about this setup is just taking these in and out. Sometimes you might accidentally knock one in. That's where it's just nice to have spares. And let's do a couple black ones here. They blend in nicely. I'm gonna snap that lid on. That was so tight it actually popped up from the air pressure. I'm gonna turn this on. And it's running. We have no leaks, so that's good. I don't know if we'll see any uh, anything from here, from that camera angle. A little bit of water spitting out now. That's what you wanna see, because that little bit of water is all we want hitting the plant. So there you go. That's all it takes to build one of these.